Hello, welcome in the next video about the Java Spring Boot web service. It will be a pretty short video because I want to show you how to enable course handling, which stands for cross-origin resource sharing. In practice, course configuration will allow us to control which domains can make requests to our endpoints. We will be extending the student service, which we have created in the series. Okay, so first thing is creating a new class. So we go to the students config package over here. We right click it and we want to click new class. Okay, and it will be the students config and let's name it course config. And we hit finish. Okay, then. First thing we want to do in our new class is creating a new method. And we will start with public keyword and our method will return the web MVC configurer object. And we will name our method course configurer and the parenthesis. Inside our method, we want to return our new web MVC configurer. So we start with the return keyword and now we are creating new object. So new web MVC configurer. And also let's uh, import it. Yeah, we can do it over here. And the parenthesis, because it is a constructor. Okay. Inside of our constructor, we want to override one of the methods. So we will use the override annotation. Okay, and uh, this method is public and it's not returning anything, so it's void. And the name of this method is add course mappings. Okay, this method is accepting the course registry object as the argument. So let's add it. And inside we can make use of this registry. So we type registry. And now we can call on this object several methods. First one will be add mapping. And this method as the argument accept a string. So over here we can define which endpoints will accept the request from the other domains. And in our case, we will use kind of wildcard, which will enable the course on every endpoint. Next method we want to use is allowed methods. And over here we want to provide HTTP methods, which one we want to accept. So first one will be get. After this we want post. Also we need put. And the last one is delete. Now, if we would like to make request to our service with other HTTP method like options, it will not be possible because it is not mentioned over here. Next method we want to use is allowed headers. And over here we can specify which headers are necessary to accept the request. And in our case, we will just use the wildcard like in the add mapping method. So we will accept all the headers. And the last one method we want to use is allowed origins. So over here we will specify from which domains we want to accept requests. So like in other methods we can use wildcard. So our service will accept requests from every domain or we can provide specific URL so in my case it will be http localhost on the port 4200 okay configuration is ready but we also need to annotate our method with bin annotation and also we have to import it and the second thing is we have to mark our entire class as the configuration class with the annotation and we also need to import it. And I am missing semicolon over here. 
By adding these two annotations, our method now will be managed by Spring Container. Now we can simply save it and run our service. Ok, service is up and running on the port 8080 and if you want to check out if it's working, I encourage you to watch my video about Angular services. As I said, this is a pretty short video, but I think it should solve your problems with the course handling. If you like it, click the like button and see you next time.